guys welcome back to my closet today we're doing this makeup look which is the look I wore in my pre in a few videos I've been posting a Laura in the kitchen with a purple top that everyone's been asking about so this is the look I recreated for you today I hope that you enjoy it I already did my foundation um, check out my foundation routine if you haven't seen that already um, I'm gonna be posting a few makeup related beauty related videos in the next within this week just to kind of get them all out to you otherwise it will be irrelevant because I'll be posting my 2012 favorite in like September because there's so many other videos I'm doing but don't you worry there's gonna be lots of more videos there that have nothing to do with beauty we're gonna be doing a day in the life vlogs and taking you guys shopping with us food shopping with us so that's gonna be a lot of fun and Joey V my husband is gonna be involved in some of the videos so that's really exciting uh, but yeah leave any suggestions or any videos you want to see anything really leave it down below uh, my husband and I get a kick out of reading what you guys some of the things that you guys want to see so it's always fun but yeah I hope that you like this tutorial if you want to see how to get it done then just keep watching okay so my foundation like I've mentioned is already done a link I put a link down below for my previous video where I did my foundation routine so I'll check that out to see exactly how I did this and the palette I'm using for this look is the Urban Decay Vice palette this one over here and I'm also using the this wet n wild uh, what's the color lust pa palette just to use this color which is the dark matte purple right over here whoa that's so pigmented it's insane uh, the colors from the Urban Decay palette, I'm not going to bring the palette up every single time I'm putting a new shadow on, but I will reference each color. Ooh, hello. I will reference each color by name, but these are the colors I'm using. I'm using this purple, this hot pink. I'm using these two down here. Um, and like I said, and this one over here too. And like I said, I will reference each color as I'm putting it on so you kind of, you, you know which color it is. So, all right, let's get right into it. I'm going to, first of all, grab my primer because it's not out yet. This is my NYX primer. Let's zoom in a bit. I'm going to take my NYX uh, primer. This is the HD primer. I'm going to plonk this on. And just rub it, with, rub it in with your finger just to kind of blend it all out. Okay, now I'm taking my uh, color tattoo Color Tattoo 24 Hour and Barely Branded. I'm taking a little bit of this and then just focusing on the, just the bottom lid in the inner corner. Okay. And then we're just taking an eyeshadow brush. This is called a large shadow brush. I'm not sure where this is from. I've had it for years. Doesn't shed. It's amazing. I'm going to take the color Nevermind. Tap that out. And then just put this all over your bottom portion, the bottom portion of the lid. Don't go too, too up in the crease. Just keep it right down below. Okay, then taking Echo Beach, which is a light like champagne color. Just pop that right into the inner corner really easily. Same brush. You don't need to get a different brush for this. I'm then taking this Sonia Kashuk, um, I guess this is like a, a corner brush. What is this called? Let's go with that for now. And taking the color Vice, which is the purple color. Just going to take that and make like an upside down or sideways V right in the outer corner. Don't go in too, too deep yet. Just keep it right in the outer corner and make it as dark or as light as you want to. And just keep adding enough color. That's good for me. Just keep adding enough color until you get the intensity you like. Okay, then take a Sigma E25 or any blending brush and just blend out that harsh line. I'm going to pick up the color Rapture with that same E25 and just go right on that harsh line. Just bring that color right into that V that we made with the purple. Just intensifies it a bit better. A bit more, I should say. I love the color Rapture. It's one of my favorite colors in the Vice palette. It's so beautiful. Okay. And then I'm taking the color, same brush, because it's dirty, so just use it. I'm going to go to Noise, which is the hot pink. I'm just going to tap it ever so lightly. Just go right here. Just brings another little extra something, something to that purple. It's not noticeable that you've got this 
hot pink color but it somehow just makes the purple come out even more in my opinion it's like when you use lemon zest in something that you don't taste lemon just makes the dish itself taste better you know I'm going with food things here come on then take the original eyeshadow brush we started with go back into Nevermind and just plop that right onto the lid because we did apply such dark colors um, you know you want to just reinforce it by adding a little bit more okay that's good I am gonna take this brush which is the tapered blending E35 and just blend out the very very top I don't want any harsh lines I don't want to look like a clown I want everything to kind of blend really nicely okay all right now that you're done with that we're gonna go into this little palette from um, I was I always want to say something else it's went wild hi okay then I'm gonna take this brush which is a crease brush from essence of beauty go into the dark color right here be careful tap it and then tap it out and go right into the crease sort of really really precise I want it to darken it up just a bit more. Just reinforce it. There you go. I just think that that looks so good. And then you go back to your E25 and you want to kind of blend that out as well. You want a dark crease, but you don't want a harsh line. Okay. Just going to go into that. Never mind color one more time and just just make it really really light just like don't apply too too much do it lightly okay now we're gonna go in with your liner I'm using a liquid liner which is what I used the other day this is the L'Oreal Paris carbon black linear in, linear intense um, the color is carbon black so just like that first of all this is so dry i need to get a new one immediately but just like i did with my gel liner i do with my liquid liner make a flick and then bring it in there you go see easy so once you get that done i'm gonna take my pencil liner uh this is the urban decay 24 hour liner in perversion i'm just gonna tight line a little bit and go into my waterline I hate this part, but it does make it look really nice and smoky. Okay. Now I'm going to take, let's see, I'll take this brush. No, I don't like this brush. It's too thick. I'm going to take the little tiny crease brush, the really small crease brush from Essence of Beauty. It's a small version of the one we used earlier. So you want to use this one and go into that vice color, that original purple. And then just drag it right under your lash line. I don't go all the way into the inner corner. I'd like to keep it like three quarters of the way because then I want that inner corner to be highlighted. And now the perfect highlight color for me is my, it's actually the highlight I use on my face. It's the Lorac one. It's the Lorac Perfectly Lit powder and spotlight and then I take this little brush by Mark uh, it's called eyeshadow ombre brush it's way too small for being an eyeshadow brush but I just like to go under the brow bone and then just in the inner corner I think this is something that a lot of people don't do uh, but brightening your inner corner makes a huge difference I think anyway and, but you don't want to use a, a, a color or a, a powder or any highlight that's like chalky and chunky and glitters falling out of everywhere because that, that's not fun. Okay, so now that we have everything on, pretty much it's time for mascara. Now, on my last video, everybody was like, oh, you need to curl your lashes. I hate curling my lashes because I actually feel like it makes them look shorter. I don't know why. It's just I don't like it. The only time I ever do curl my lashes is if I have to go to events and I'm wearing false lashes. It makes them blend a lot better. Now, the mascaras I'm using is a L'Oreal False Fiber Lashes in black lacquer or is this let's see does it have another name oh I can even see that 
no way. And then I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Milling, Milling Lashes. This is one of my favorites. I want to do one coat of this and two coats of this. I'm a little bit on the lower lash line. I have a question for you all. I hope you can help me with this. Uh, I bought... Ooh, that's a little bit much better here. I bought this mascara not even a month ago. And it is so dry already and like clumpy and it's it was okay when I first got it but I don't know what's going on is it do any of you have it and is it doing that to you too because it's not a good look at all I'm not feeling that okay so whoops whoopsie daisy this is the eyes they are done 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 yay now let's work on the rest of the face I'm gonna contour a little bit by using you guys know I love this little schmageggy thing. Uh, I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is such a good bronzer. It smells like chocolate too. And it really does. I'm just going to dip it in. And then just, I don't, I don't do the fish things. I can't. I can't seem to hold in my cheeks. But I just smile. That's not really how I smile in real life. But you make your fake smile. And you should be able to see the, con the natural contour of your face. That's where you want to put your bronzer. You want to put this at the, the place where you want the darkest amount. So for me, it's right back here. That's I think that's what everybody should do it anyway. Because it really chisels your face. And it really makes it look kind of... Ooh. Like... Mm, like just like perfection. I don't know. I really like it. So, smile. Down the sides of the nose, a little bit on the forehead, and then down the jaw. Okay. And then I take my Makeup Forever Kabuki and just buff it out a bit. Okay. Time for blush. First of all, let's, there you go. Time for blush. The blush I'm using is this NARS blush in Dolce, yeah, Dolce Vita. That's what it looks like. My favorite um, fall and winter blush for sure. Putting it on my, whoops, I think I have a little fuzz, a little hair. Ah. I'm putting this on my Real Technique blush brush and then just smile again. Run it in the back of the cheek. There you go. And then to highlight, I'm going back to my Lorac in Spotlight with a little tapered brush, the tapered highlighter brush from Sigma. Just run it on top of the cheek. I love this highlight because it doesn't have big chunks of glitter. I don't want to walk around looking like a disco ball, you know. Just right here, down the nose, upper lip, and the face is done. You know... Embrace your baby hairs, because I've got so many of them. I, I don't like that. I don't know what to do with myself. I try to embrace them, but to be honest with you, they're just on my nerves at this point. Spray it with my all-nighter spray from Urban Decay. And now for lips, I took... Ooh. Let's see. There you go. I took this Too Faced uh, Perfect Lips Lip Liner in Perfect Nude. And just fill in my whole lip with it. Okay, and then I outlined it with um, NYX, NYX lip liner, these ones, in Nude Truffle. Just outline it. Don't go too, too harsh. You don't want to look like ridiculous. So just kind of make it so that it blends a bit. And you can almost blend it with your finger if you need to. There you go. And then I topped all of that off with Revlon Super Lustrous Lip stick in just enough buff. No lip gloss. Sometimes, you know, to be honest with you, I'm more of like the matte lip look, but it totally depends. And sometimes I just go lip gloss crazy and I like layer them for who knows what reason. But, um, yeah, this is everything I did. Let's see. And the eyes, the cheek, lips. Um, 
but yeah that's it i hope you've enjoyed this video i'm gonna start uploading these anytime a new laura in the kitchen video goes up that's got a look that i you know i think you guys want to see uh leave any suggestions down below along with feedback or anything really because i just love to hear from you uh on the last video it was just so encouraging to kind of feel like everybody's on the same page let's help each other out and you're all so sweet and positive i just i was really overwhelmed and flattered so yeah I hope that you've enjoyed uh, and I hope you've learned well I just hope that you'll like it so that's it and I'll see you guys very very soon bye